guys, so today I'm going to do a rewind of a luxury haul I did last year in February as well as my February favorites. If you guys aren't familiar with my rewinds, it's kind of like people throw back Thursdays or um, they call it other things, but pretty much I go back from a video that I passed a about a year ago and I just let you guys know my thoughts on the products if I still have them if I decluttered them pretty much what I still think of them so I have right here my like video description if you don't know everything I talk about I typically put products mentioned down below in the description bar so you guys can see and if there's a little link that means I have a review of it somewhere so click on that link if you want more information on those products and yeah you're good to go so this video I posted back in February of 2015 and it was my like little luxury Thing, I got some Michael Kors black flats and those I got February and by the time August came around there were holes all through them and I was pretty upset that Michael Kors if you don't know is a luxury brand it's pretty high-end and the fact that I only had the shoes for a couple of months really was a bummer so I would not recommend getting Michael Kors shoes for that reason it just really was a bummer. I was really excited to have something of Michael Kors and the fact that it was bad. And I mean, I loved them. They were really great shoes. However, they did get holes in them and only last a couple of months. So, wouldn't get that again. Target black flats all the way. That's all I'm saying. So, moving on, I did go to the drugstore a little bit there too and I picked up the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Whites and oil-free eye makeup remover. These two are holy grail makeup removing products for me. I do have a review or a battle of the Neutrogena oil makeup remover against the Clinique Take the Off the Day eye makeup remover. So I'll link that video down below, but honestly, this is a great eye makeup remover and this is another good makeup remover wipes. I have purchased these over and over and over so many times you will see so many of these products in my empties and for good reason they're amazing. Moving on from that I in that haul also picked up a NARS blush. This is in the shade Matahari and it is gorgeous. I have a squeaky dog here if y'all don't already know but this is the blush color there. It is a gorgeous matte pink kind of blush. It's right there. Sorry for the other swats and swatches. I did a video earlier but this is a gorgeous matte blush. I have loved it and yeah I just really enjoy it and glad I purchased that. I also got the Hourglass. This is the Ambient Lighting Palette. This came with three powders. Came with Dim Light, Incandescent Light, and Radiant Light. And I have enjoyed using these, but they were just not as amazing as people were hyping them up to be on YouTube. I do have a review of these, of this palette, so I will link that down below as well. But I do like them. I'm happy to have them. But I do probably need to work on them a little bit more. The next item was from Too Faced. This was their Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick. The shade I got was Melted Peony. So it looks like this. These are all the rage here on YouTube. However, honestly, I don't like them. Um, I used it a couple times. It has a weird sponge applicator. It looks gorgeous. Swatch. There it is right there. However, I feel like... For me, it shows all the imperfections of my lips. I see lines, I see dryness, I see everything, so I don't really reach for this that often. I do love the color, but I don't see the big hype of the Too Faced Melted lipsticks. There, there's tons of these, everyone raves about them, but yeah, they're not a favorite of mine at all. What is the favorite? Copper. What is a favorite is the YSL Rouge Volup Shine. 
lipstick and this is in the shade 12. I think this is like coral incandescent. This is what it looks like and this is beautiful. Swatched right there. These just feel amazing on the lips. They give a shine. They give like a nice pigmented color to your lips and I love this. After this, a couple months later, I did buy the number two shade. It was like purple and, and touchable or something like that and I love that one as well. So looking back at that video, if there's anything I missed, I got an Eco Tools loofah. Those I got from Harris Teeter. I tend to try and go more for the Bath and Body Works loofahs. They're just bigger and they feel they just feel better on your on your skin. I also got a bunch of Bath and Body Works like hand soaps and candles. So you guys probably have seen enough reviews on that. I'm not going to go into that. So, moving on to my February favorites video, I talked about this hair product right here, or hair tool. This is from Remington, it's the one and one and a half, well half inch to one inch styling wand. It came with a glove for your hand. This is just a product that I wanted to use to try and do kind of this no clamp curling wand. I honestly need a bigger barrel than what this is. This just makes my hair have too tight of curls. I loved it for last that February, but honestly I like bigger curls. Like this isn't really bigger curls, but I don't know. I just like more volume to my hair than just really tight curls. So honestly I haven't used that that much and it's been in a drawer. I also talked about this style sexy hair. This is the spray clay texturizing spray clay and I honestly since that video haven't really reached for this that often. I don't really find a use for this. It's not something that I need when doing my hair so I don't reach for it that often but I do want to try and use this up since I do know I've had this for over a year now. One product, hair product that I absolutely still love, still have surprisingly, and I'm going to buy a full size because I'm running very low, is also from Style Sexy Hair. This is the 450 Blowout 7 Hold 1 Shine, and I love this. This is kind of like their heat protectant for your hair like before blow drying or styling, and I absolutely love this. It has a great, like coconutty tropical kind of scent so I love this and will continue to love it I'm sure and buy a full size. The next thing I talked about was a nail polish this is from Essie and it's the leading lady nail polish and it is a gorgeous red glitter nail polish and it also has some black in there as well. This was really great. I love it for the holidays as well as like Valentine's Day and stuff like that. So I do love this. This was in a special collection so I'm not sure if you can still get this from the store or anything like that. But I did love it. Also talked about the John Frieda Frizz Ease. This was like a detangling spray. It was nice. It wasn't a favorite. It took me a really long time to use up, but I'm glad to be done with it. I honestly have been working more on and loving my It's a 10 detangler spray over that, so I wouldn't repurchase that John Frieda one. I also was talking about my NYC Smooth Skin Sunny Bronzer. That is a great bronzer for the drugstore. It is a little bit more orangey. Honestly, for me, I like the Too Faced Milk Chocolate or the Chocolate Bronzer better than that. And I'm on right now using Tarte Park Avenue Princess. So I've been gravitating more towards those kind of shades than the NYC Sunny just because it was a little bit more orangey. I also talked about my Urban Decay 24-7 Eyeliner in Zero. I used two of those pencils up in this past year and honestly I won't I wouldn't recommend it and won't repurchase just because it it didn't stay in, as well as I wanted to in the waterline and I do prefer more of like a liquid or gel eyeliner for my top lashes. So honestly I don't find a use for that and if I do I want something more waterproof. 
I also talked about the CK1 mascara. This was a birthday gift that year before. It was the black and white packaging that you could twist and it said you can make the brush bristles longer or skinnier or I can't remember. Um, honestly, I found this past year I love my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara over that as well as I've been using my Clinique High Impact Mascara. These are more natural br bristle mascaras that I prefer over any of like the rubber ones. And that Calvin Klein one, the packaging, the fact that you could twist it and make it change whatever it does, that just could have so many problems with it. So wouldn't recommend that. And then the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Baby Blue. I recently decluttered all of my NYX pencils. Those, the, I mean, guys, cream eyeshadow and eyeshadow pencils have an expiration date. They can go bad, so I just pitched all those, knew I had them for way longer than it was. I prefer, honestly, Maybelline Color Tattoos. I've been using, where's this? I've been using a limited edition shade in Seashore Frost. Looks like that. So I've been using this kind of formula over those NYX ones. Or for pencil, I really have been gravitating towards the Laura, Mar Laura Mar Mercier there it is, caviar sticks. I'm not sure they have a blue in Laura Mercier, but those are the kind of cream products I've been loving over the, the next ones. I also found a love for my Anastasia Brow Wiz dark brown pencil. Ever since that video, I've been using this pretty much every day, so it has been over a year since I've been working on this, and this is still the same product. So I really love it. I have still quite a bit of product to go. So for the price of this, for me at least, I love this. It does a really great job on my eyebrows, so I would recommend it, and it is still a favorite. Then I talked about the Origins Ginseng Eye Cream. That was a really great eye cream for like brightening your under eyes as well as the scent of that. I remember it being like a citrus tangerine kind of scent. So I love that. However, for honestly my eye creams, I want something light but moisturizing. I've been really loving that Murad one as well as I still love the Origins Plant Scription. They don't have too much of a scent and it's something I can wear in the day and night time that do a great job. I do, however, love the Origins Ginseng Moisturizer or Face Moisturizer. That is a really great day cream and I look forward to getting it again. Then the last product for my February favorites I mentioned was the Jersey Shore Mongongo Nutrient Dense. This is a lip conditioner. I am almost done with this product and honestly, I've really enjoyed it. The scent of this and everything, I think I honestly will go out on their website and purchase this lip product just because I've loved it back in February 2015 and it's now March and I loved, love it now too. So that is my rewind of my luxury haul and February favorites of last year. Let me know if you've tried any of these products, what you think of them, and I'll make sure to link that rewind playlist down below just so you guys, if you're in the mood to watch kind of what I think about favorites and hauls from previous and want to know kind of where I stand on them now, I will have that down below as well. So thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.